Hi. So today is day five of fluorouracil. Um, the ninth application of 28. So nowhere near the halfway point yet. So, <laughs> um, but day four and a half of 14 days. And um, not a lot. I see a couple of spots the side of my nose a little more. A couple of spots over here. I've been doing the tops of my ears too. Maybe a spot or two on my forehead. When I apply, I put... I don't really know how to describe. I'm in a pretty small bead on my, on my forefinger. And that does my whole forehead. All the way up into here eyebrows and sometimes down a little bit here because you're supposed to spread it thin and I put an even smaller bead down the center of my nose and spread it this way from what I've seen in research you want to spread it thinly across keep it out of your eyes of course thinly across another small bead and I do my whole cheek each side and then I tap just a little bit around here and spread that out, keeping it away from my lips. Um, I mean, really, I mean, the way I'm doing it, this tube would last a long time, uh, but it's covering my whole face. Uh, spreading it out, I can see where I've spread it, and then it's it goes from white to clear pretty quickly. I've also been doing the, the tops of my ears. Um, I guess at night I feel a little bit of, of um, tingling after the nighttime application, um, but nothing severe. Uh, at night I put on, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now, it's like a Vaseline but for babies. I just put it all over my face because my skin is dry and it's, um, it's winter here so all the heaters like I've said before. Uh, and that's about it. Um, I wash my hands really good with a brush. I use a brush to get under my fingernails, even though it's usually on only on D's. But sometimes when I spread it with one finger, there's too much on the finger, and I flush it out with a clean finger. And I make sure I get it. I'm a guitar player, so I have the nails on my right hand are a little bit longer than my left hand for for playing guitar strings. Um, so I want to make sure it's clean under there for eating and preparing food and things like that. And I'm supposed to do the backs of my hands, eventually the backs of my hands, all the way up to mid whatever, mid bicep. Um, that's going to be strange to not wash the back of my hand. So I may or may not do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it from the wrist up. Uh, again, I... I I'm not a sun worshiper, but I have grew up in Florida. Um, I've never been in a tanning bed. I've never, I mean, I did when I was young try to get a tan, I think, but mostly I was just outside in Florida. Um, but I'm also since 40, I'm 51 now, since 40, I've been a cyclist. Um, but since I've been, uh, we'll say, t 25, I've been pretty sun smart. Um, I did play a lot of baseball. I lived in Orlando, uh, but I use an enormous amount of sunscreen. Um, I use a lot of sunscreen when I cycle or I ride late in the evening, um, usually not before 4 o'clock in the summertime. And even then, usually not uh, before five. And when I lived, I used to live in Los Angeles. I live in upstate New York now, um, the place that time forgot. But I came here on a mission, and so far so well as far as the mission goes. Um, the When I rode, I used to commute to work in Los Angeles, but I rode every, you know,
know, 7.30 to 9 o'clock, and then um, 7 o'clock in the evening to when it was almost dark. So, and even then I used a lot of sunscreen. And my legs, according to my dermatologist, show almost no damage, even though I was sunburnt on the front of them when I was 18 or 19. So bad I couldn't walk for three days. <laughs> All day, all day at the beach in Florida. That wasn't that wasn't smart at all. Um, so that was the last time I did that, and I've never sought the sun um, other than growing up in Florida. So, but even just driving in your car, you know, hands on the steering wheel, hand on the steering wheel, elbow. You know, the first thing you usually get is is driver arm. They call it, you know. And because the sun comes through this side of your face and your left arm, you know, driving in the U.S. anyway, and anywhere where you drive on the right side of the road, um, the sun just comes in. I mean, you get sun. And unless you wear sunscreen, you're, you're susceptible to that long drives, a couple hours, you're going to get sun. Um, so that's just part of the deal, particularly in Florida and in, and in California. Um, so just be wary of that. Even, you know, it's, it's difficult to get up in the morning and put on sunscreen. It's a real drag, and I'm not any good at it. Uh, you can buy, I do put, um, I do put cream on every morning, and you can get you can get cream with sunscreen in it, but even then it's sunscreen, you know. But but there are some better sunscreens coming out. Um, maybe I'll post some. And that are more like, I wish I could come up with the name of what I'm trying to say, but I can't. <laughs> uh, they're not so thick, but they're still very good, and they're they're pretty natural, and it's good to have something. And even then, you need to reapply it every couple hours, especially with skin like mine, and with blue eyes. Blue eyes are blue-eyed people are susceptible to skin cancer, just how it is. Um, so anyway, uh, have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.